The question is very timely. What kind of energy will we invest in to keep a reliable electricity supply for San Diego without increasing the carbon pollution that contributes to climate change? The World Affairs Council will hold a symposium to bring together different players with a stake in the answer to this question. So David Eddick is president of the San Diego World Affairs Council. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon. And Carl Nettleton is founder of Open Oceans Global, and he also operates a consulting firm specializing in resolving complex public policy issues and business issues. So thank you so much for joining us, Carl. Thank you, Alison. So let me start with you, David. Why is the World Affairs Council interested in, in climate change? Well, the mission of the San Diego World Affairs Council is to educate and engage San Diegans in global issues, international relations, and cultural understanding. And global warming is perhaps the most profound global issue we face. But how could the way that we generate energy here in San Diego change our role in the global marketplace? Well, we, our generation of electricity here in San Diego has actually been fairly simple. Uh, and you know, the reason why we're actually having this conference is that actually the, the debate and the dialogue about energy has been all about solar. And in fact, our, our energy footprint is far beyond solar. So uh, I got to start, I guess, with uh, Carl. I'll ask you. You know, do you think that everybody in the business community is on board with the idea that what we do is affecting climate change? Well, I, 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 th I think we're a progressive community in San Diego. I think I think there's, we're an academic and a an, uh, highly educated community. I think the challenge has to do with the economics of it. Understanding that efficiencies, transitioning to new sources of energy are really the way to the future and that businesses will be competitive if they adopt those efficiencies and those new sources of energies. That is the question, isn't it? Can we remain competitive? I noticed that the keynote speaker is um, uh, Ralph Keeling from Scripps yes. and his CO2 program. Yeah. So is part of the goal of the symposium to educate people who may not be completely clear as to how what we do affects climate change? I think actually pretty much everybody on our program is, is uh, understanding that we have a serious issue with global warming. I think Ralph is going to help frame it. Uh, we've actually gone quite a ways down the road to changing our planet. Uh, and he's, he's going, he understands the program that we're having and he's going to set the stage. Okay, so what would you say, David, are some of the most polarizing issues in this issue of climate change for business at San Diego? Oh, for business? <laughs> uh, Most of I, the people at your symposium, I yeah. believe, are, are business well, connected. They, they are. I think the, the, polar, the polarizing aspect of it, I think the biggest challenge is mm -hmm. regulatory instability. Mm. You know, I think the business community is looking for some sort of a steady framework uh, in which to invest. And the same with uh, government investment as well. We need to have some clear policies about where we're going to go mm -hmm. uh, to make those long-term investments. So, Carl, what kind of people are coming and what are the key issues that you hope they address at this symposium? Well, there's a range of people coming, some local energy leaders uh, in some of the earlier panels. The, I'm excited about the panel that I'm uh, moderating on public policy because we have folks with expertise internationally, nationally, and, and regionally. And, and even as uh, there is some concern that how is, can California lead uh, the, the, climate the climate change uh, with cap and trade, um, there's people in, in the other parts of the world that say, how, how can they not lead? We need to look to the United States and China to, to be leaders in this. And if, if, if those two countries don't lead, then, then how can the others follow? So mm -hmm. the military is such a big part of our community. Are they much part of this discussion? Mm -hmm. Uh, very, very much a part of this discussion. This session. Uh, Ambassador Reno Harnish is on in, on my panel, and um, he's the head of the Center for Environment and National Security, and has done some very interesting symposiums on uh, military leaders around the world who are preparing for the impacts of climate change that could affect millions of people. And in the national level, um, there's a, a great emphasis on the Department of Defense to becoming self-reliant through green energy. Okay, and I know, David, that you know we've seen San Onofre shut down, but we're doing a lot of research in parts of San Diego into a new kind of nuclear generation. Is nuclear dead, or could it play a part of San Diego's future? Well, it, it could play a significant part in the future. Uh, I, I think, obviously, that San Onofre is closed, uh, but I think fourth-generation opportunities are... It's a really important part of the path going forward, I think. Uh, it is a low-carbon, no-carbon source, and we need to be investing in all of those no carbon, low carbon sources of energy. You said at the beginning of this interview that so we're going beyond solar. What did you mean by that? Solar is off to a very small, it started small, it started almost with nothing. And we are attempting to change our entire civilization. It's going to take a generation. And in, this, the, in order to scale up solar, 
to the, the what we want it good. to be is going to take time. Okay, good, and we should be doing that in San Diego for sure. Yeah. Carl Nettleton and David Eric, uh, sorry, Eric, thank you so much thank for you. joining me. Thank you. Thank you very much.